Hey, what's going on everybody? How you doing out there today? A little wet, I imagine. Let's get you guys sorted out. All right, so uh, lots of work going on here at the camp. Uh, the pond has become probably the focal point of my backyard habitats. Uh, I love this thing. Uh, got it here in 2019, exactly a year ago. But you know what it's time for? It's time for some maintenance. Now, check this pond out. It's a large pond, so there's a lot of water, but look at how clear it is. Just an incredible aquascape ecosystem that the guys from Aquascape hooked me up with. And I just wanted to show you guys because I get a lot of questions about, Kenan, is that a lot of work? How much work do you gotta do to keep it going? And I'm just gonna show you because today is the first time that I'm actually going to clean out the bog filter, the wetland. What I wanna do is I'm gonna take this submersible solids handling pump, I'm gonna put it down one of these snorkels, and we're gonna suck out any of the sludge and organic matter that is settled to the bottom of that filter. So we're gonna suck that out, and I'm actually gonna be able to water the plants with it. It's very nutrient rich, so it should be a really great fertilizer. And then I'm gonna move on over to this snorkel here. I gotta open this lid up, and I'm gonna suck out the rest of the water there. And then when we're done doing that, we gotta fill it back up, service the pumps over there, and uh, well, then we're gonna go swimming. And I'm gonna show you those fish up close and personal. Here we go. All right, so as promised, I'm gonna take this submersible pump. Oh, we're gonna put it in. Let's get it in there. Of course, one hand, always good. Always good to do this. Gonna make sure we're down there at the bottom. I think we're down at the bottom. All right, and we're gonna start sucking water out. Let's plug her in. Here goes nothing, people. Oh boy. Where's that M? Oh, there it is. Here it comes. All right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give these guys a drink. Okay, I got some plants all taken care of, but I figured now's a good time to help out this pond, which has been evaporating. So uh, while we're doing that with some of that water, we're gonna go ahead and service these pumps. So we got these two Pentair pumps right here, beautiful. And uh, basically what I need to do is just clean out the leaf baskets and stuff. So what I like to do is I relieve the pressure here, just get a little pressure out, all right? Seems like it's been, depressurized and make sure it's sealed up. I also have the ball valves turned so that they don't backwash. There we go. Let's see what we got here. There's always something in these leaf baskets. Look at that. Lots of baby snails and uh, heaps of mulch. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. That's it. That's all I have to do. All right. Gently tap it, loosen up any debris that's gotten in there, and then replace. And then we'll do that with the uh, other one. All right.
All right, so the pumps are all put away. Here's my cart. I'm gonna be putting that stuff away. Uh, but I went ahead and I dug a little trench and connected some more hose with a valve that is directly putting water into the bog filter. The reason being, guys, is the bog filter set up real high. The other hose or the other valve for water filling up is right here. It'll fill this up, but it overflows into the reservoir. As you can see, it's overflowed there, but as soon as I turn those pumps on, it's gonna suck that dry pretty quick. So I wanna make sure that I've got enough water in the system. So by doing that, by putting the valve up there, we're gonna fill up the topmost level of the Aquascape ecosystem first. And this way, when I turn the pumps on, we're gonna be able to just continually cycle water through. Now, it's gonna get foggy in here because we've stirred up a lot of the dirt, I've walked on it, I've sprayed the hose on it, we've sucked out a lot through the snorkels with the solids handling pump, uh, even uh, trimmed a bunch of weeds uh, or trimmed the plants, and you can see the pond turtles are having fun eating them all. They just devour all these elephant ears and all these little marginal grasses and stuff. So it's a recyclable endeavor when you start trimming things. Um, basically, it's going to be a while because this reservoir or this bog filter here, this wetland unit can probably handle, oh gosh, the whole pond is somewhere in the neighborhood of 30,000 gallons. This is probably close to six, 7,000 gallons. So it's going to be a little while. I've got two pumps working right now. I got my irrigation pump and I got the hose bib pump working. So I'll tell you what, why don't you guys just uh, keep an eye on it for me. I'm going to put these things away and I'll see you when it is time to turn the pumps on. All right, it's up and running, guys. It looks beautiful. I'm really happy. We got all the algae out of it. Not that the algae bothers me too much. It's actually good because it does help filter out some of the toxins in the water. So I just didn't want it to get too overgrown because then things wouldn't look so nice. But we've trimmed back the plants. We got the fountains working again. Uh, gave everything a good spray down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to inoculate the wetlands with some bacteria. So in here is some bacteria. Uh, you get this through Aquascape. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw some in there. And that bacteria is gonna colonize because the bacteria are the little microorganisms that are actually filtering out the waste. Uh, we're gonna also put one in the main body of the pond. And then I'm gonna come over here to the waterfall area and I'm gonna put another packet of this bacteria down here so that it gets sucked up by the filters and it'll get dispersed up through all that gravel in the wetland. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do, just open this and drop it on in and just let it do its thing. It dissolves and then it will become inoculated. So that's all I have to do guys. This is my first time doing it. It's been a year since I've had the pond as I mentioned at the top. Uh, it was a bit of an all day project, but I figure I use this thing 364 days of the year. Uh, the fish use it every day. It's their habitat. Uh, as you can see, it did get a little bit foggy. So what I'm going to do is tomorrow morning, we're going to wake up early and then you and I are going to go in that pond and I'm going to show you just how beautiful it's become. And of course, we're going to see more of these fish. So a little bit foggy tonight, but by tomorrow morning, it will be perfect. See you later. Yes, okay, I promise the water is crystal clear again. And uh, we're gonna get on in here and check out these cichlids, see how everything's doing. It's been one whole year, so why not give you guys an update to show you how much things have grown. Uh, but before we do, you know, uh, let's go check out the front ponds and see how they're doing. But why don't we grab a couple of turtles that we haven't swam with. Um, I think you guys will dig it. They're growing big themselves. They are the Caliger. Well, they used to be called Caliger. They've switched it to Badiger borneensis. Uh, these are the painted river terrapins. These guys are getting bigger. But again, just to revisit the front yard, a short walk away, uh, you can see the cool pond and modern designs aquascaping put in here, the stream. And then, of course, the original aquascape ecosystem pond I got. Still beautiful, still clear. 
bunch of lizards running around, lots of little weeds growing. The radiated tortoises are doing their thing. So cool to see these ecosystems come to life. But what I'm looking for are some little guys. There's two or three of them in here. There's definitely three, but we're gonna probably pull two out of the Painted River Terrapins. I know they like to hide over here. Up oh, there's one. Up oh, there's the other. Let's get two of them. Oh gosh, how awesome. Come on, little guy. Oh, these are beautiful little turtles and they will get quite large. So let's see if I can grab them both. Oh, I got them both with one hand. Not bad, we're gonna hold on to them tight and we're gonna go swimming with them. These guys are a lot of fun. You'll see just how incredibly, uh, well, proficient they are at swimming. Uh, again, before we leave, look at this. Sophia's Pond, again, looking so beautiful. I uh, really love having these, uh, these water features here in my yard because it adds so much for the animals. Up oh, there's the hybrids. That looks like it's Siobhan. And then here's one of the beautiful leopard tortoises right there. All right. And we're going to keep moving along here. Get these guys in that I'm going to get in. Oh, but why not say hello to these beautiful hybrids? These are the leprechauns. Beautiful little tortoises. Uh, so nice to have them here. And then I thought I saw the other leopard, but he's not around. He's always hiding. All right, let's get these guys in and let's get to it. Go ahead, I'll find you guys in a little bit. Go, go, go! Go on. Beautiful little turtles. All right, I'm gonna get suited up. Now for my favorite part. It's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy a little fish in Turtle Pond ASMR.
How cool is this, guys? We found a little bit of snake shed, probably from that snake that slithered across the time lapse yesterday. That's really cool. But also, you can notice all the grasses, all the sea grasses are really starting to propagate now, a year on. Uh, and I can imagine all these little grasses really covering the bottom soon. And they add a whole nother dimension of filtration and habitat for small fish fry. Uh, it's really, really cool to see this thing take off. I'm gonna swim to the other waterfall. I wanna show you how that's doing. And uh, man, so cool. How funny to see these little turtles, these little river terrapins finding a place to hide. Okay. This is where I sometimes see that water snake. Uh, but again, all these elephant ears, little pups are growing up. And really the, the uh, root systems of these are actually uh, absorbing a lot of the debris that floats up and around the waterfall. What I like to do also is I'm gonna get in here and stir this area up. I get over here, I stir it up. You lift up some of that sediment and it goes over into the filtration. But let's look and see if we can find anything else hiding around here. The waterfall, everything's growing nicely. All these ferns, the ficus vines are growing. They're, they're taking over, which gives this thing a really cool look. But more importantly, it's habitat. And as you guys know, the redfoots live out here and use this water as a drinking source. All right, I'm gonna get back in here. And I'm gonna stir things up a little bit. So there you have it, a beautiful pond a year on. It's just grown up so nicely. The lilies and everything else, all the marginal plants, everything around the pond is just looking fantastic. So it's not a lot of work, or rather it's a labor of love, if you will. Uh, really just enjoy seeing these uh, cichlids do so well out here in South Florida. Little fry, you saw some of the babies, they're reproducing, so it's become a self-sustaining ecosystem which every once in a while, uh, I just gotta go in there and do a little bit of maintenance. So not a big deal for me at all. And if you guys wanna learn more about ponds and how to build them and how to care for them, check out our friend, The Pond Professor on YouTube. That's Ed Blue. But just go to The Pond Professor and you'll be able to get way more in-depth information about how to care for and build these amazing aquatic ecosystems. 
Woo. All right, everybody, I uh, got one of the turtles out and it's gonna be a little while before I find the other one. So uh, I hope everyone's staying safe. I hope today maybe helped you relax from these anxious times. Anytime I'm getting anxious, I just love to watch the fish and turtles swim around. It totally makes me feel good. So thanks a lot. Don't forget to like this. What you said, here's the idea. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all again soon. Take care.